<laughs> did you guys in the rentals, did you meet TD's Kung Fu? No, we didn't. Did you see him? Uh, we, we saw him. It was bizarre. Kind of his own little world. Just one of you have a conversation, you go, what just happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, All right, listen, it's 9 uh, 21. The rentals are in the studio with us, and uh, we're excited. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Now, is everyone here? Is it Matt? Let me hear. Matt, where are you? I'm over here. All right. Up and, up and down. Sure. Sherilyn? Hi. How are you, my dear? Is that what we're saying that right, Sherilyn? Yes. Okay. Rod? Right here. Rod, good morning. Uh, Mike? Over here. Maya? Yep. You look like a Maya. And Jim? I'm right here. Hey, we got the Reynolds. Like now, congratulations, first of all, on the uh, return of uh, the rentals, which is, seems to be uh, doing terrific for you. You, you, uh, how the, how the project get started? How did you guys all get together? It was Mike. It was your vision, right? Yeah, it was Mike's vision. <laughs> it was Matt. It was, it was, I mean, Matt's vision. I'm sorry, it was Matt's vision. It was Matt's Mike vision. Mike was dancing in this club and he sauntered up to me and he kind of danced over and <laughs> yeah. gave me those good looking eyes. You're gonna need to pull the microphone a little bit closer to you there, Matt, and give us the story. I mean, you hands. I thought Mike was kind of cute. You hand picked these, uh, these seasoned together. professionals, <laughs> huh? You hand picked these seasoned professionals. Is that what happened? No, we're just all just hanging out and you know being stupid. And it playing. sounds like you don't want to uh, talk about the band or the way it came about or the, any of that stuff. You just don't want anything to do with it's it. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you put the band together. Well, I'll say it. Yeah. You did the album. I, Apart um, from yeah. any record company influence, any industry influence, whatever, just for no, fun. Madonna handpicked them, and she said, "I want you, your God." <laughs> this is going to be nice. difficult. <laughs> Matt does not want to answer questions. Bring David Carradine back in, <laughs> <laughs> or or the weed. I was selling I was selling dog shampoo over the phone, and then they just that's how I met them all. Now that's what you were telling me. You used to sell dog shampoo on the phone. Is that a true story? And listen to you, gentlemen. Is that a true story? Though you used that to sell dog shampoo. True, how long did you sell dog shampoo? For about nine months. With our the drummer from Weezer, Pat, and I used to sell lots of dog shampoo. So were you good at it? Did you bring it? I, I I just I just reloaded, and Pat Pat sold them, and I reloaded them. Well, I do know I don't know much about the dog shampoo business, but I do know that people <laughs> love it when you call it at home to sell them stuff. Oh, They're yeah. crazy about that. There's well, no luxury, better phone call to get. It was luxury it. dog shampoo, so it's <laughs> not really like what you normally think. Like, you know. So what time? They're you, really excited. You were saying you used to call the East Coast, so you used to get up at god awful early hours in the morning and call, call people about selling dog shampoo. Or yeah, and tanning lotion, and skin products, and all sorts of stuff. Awesome. Now these are a bunch of your friends. You just got together to put together the band, and they all they all bought a bottle of dog shampoo. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> That's what you needed to do to get into the group. It's a serious band effort. It's not some little side They're little watching project. their dogs and they're at home when I'm calling them up and I'm like, so, uh, you play uh, a little drums there? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing over there? Okay, perfect. Now this... Uh, I'm not too smart, but I, I think we should start a band together. So. This uh, this band really does sound like it came right out of like 1978. Is, no, is it, it doesn't. It, it, no, but it really does. No, it doesn't. Now, here's what I'm telling no, you, though. No, it is that doesn't. It, does. it really doesn't. <laughs> but it really does, It though. doesn't. The operative word, and I in no way mean this as an insult, is cheesy. It's just cheesy. You were going for cheesy, though. You don't have a Moog synthesizer in 1995 and say you're not a... going for cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, I mean, you, you see that clearly. Is that what you were striving for? You going for the deep? You're putting some words into my mouth, aren't you? Yeah. I'm giving well, you the opportunity. Yeah, I didn't see that clearly. Let me just say, if you're not going to put words in your mouth, that's what he's got to do. It's an interview, for God's sake. Yes, yeah. right. we were going for cheese. There All we right. go. That's what I wanted to hear. Wow. You're going to play some cheese for us this morning? I think they're nice songs. I, don't think I do, they're too. Cheesy cheesy songs. He said he didn't mean it in a bad way. No, there's nothing you're hurting me. Excuse me. Can't say that. Sorry. Can't say that on the air. No, you can't say that. I'm sorry. I know. Expected. All right, let's. I'm a seasoned professional. <laughs> All right, listen. Here's what let's do. Are you guys ready to play? <clears throat> or do we need to take a little quick break I'm and maybe take try a some break. stuff out? All right, we'll take a quick break. You can try some stuff out, and then the Reynolds will play with, in studio. La 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 la. Okay, thank you. 9:25 on K Rock. On the next head on the world famous K Rock. It's 106.7 K Rock Q. She, of course, is going to be playing night number one of K Rock's Almost Acoustic Christmas, which is Sunday, December 17th. We made the announcement earlier this morning. It's going to be at the Universal Amphitheater, and it features Alanis Morissette, Foo Fighters, Garbage, No Doubt, Joan Osborne, Porno for Pyros, Radiohead, Sonic Youth, the Toadies, and Presidents of the United States of America. It's cool. We have an actual live choir at the K-Rock Studios. Can you guys work here, like, full-time? <laughs> you know how much it adds to the show to have uh, vocalists behind us? We have the rentals <clears throat> in the studio with us. The uh, Return of the Rentals is the CD. It's uh, in stores everywhere. And we don't know what they're doing right now. No, this is some sort of a chipmunk tribute <laughs> with the upcoming holiday season. <laughs> All right, you guys are going to do what song? What, what's the name of the song here? 
waiting. Waiting. The rentals on <laughs> K Rock. Famous Kara. Thank you. One hundred six point seven KROQ. Is this true? Is this really your first ever acoustic appearance? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's very eighth, nicely done. It's our eighth ever appearance and our seventh, or we have something like that, <laughs> and our fourth and our fifth. And I'm confused now. Third. I have no idea what he's saying either. <laughs> it's no our idea. eighth time we've ever played, and it's the seventh. That's the first time we've ever played. Acoustic. All right, and never the mind. Seventh oh, time would be. Oh, it's a bad question. And the first time <laughs> we withdraw the question. <laughs> we withdraw the question. You're on. So what I'm trying to say is, is I've been. Four, uh, I think we need to take right. Matt into sidebar. I've been to, yes. uh, That's what we need to do here. Right, thirteen or fourteen All right, times. Nine thirty-six. When we come back, you guys are going to play a couple more songs, right? Fun. The other ten yeah. times. We're All right, good. We'll come right back. Chicago. All right, we'll come right back on the world famous Carol. K R O Q. Kevin and Bean show at nine thirty-eight, and time for a few more songs from the rentals live in studio. Yes. Anytime you're ready. This song's called The Love I'm Searching For.